Hi there, it's Tracy here from the Papercraft Studio. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm going to show you how to make this Whimsy and Wonder Z Fold Christmas card. Okay, so you see where it gets its name from. Um, this is one of my favourite suites in the mini um, catalogue uh, for this year. Um, but I've put a couple of other bits and pieces from other sets in as well. So I'll show you the supplies you're going to need to make this. So you need a piece of thick basic white cardstock and this measures 11 inches by 4 and 1 8. You need several pieces of mint macaron for the layers. This one measures 5 and a quarter inches by 3 and 7 8. This one measures 3 and 7 8 by 2 and a half. And the last one measures 3 and 3 quarters by 3 inches. You need another piece here of um, basic white. This is five by three and five eighths. And then I've gone ahead and embossed this piece, but you need a piece um, to emboss, another white layer. And this measures three and a half by two and three quarters. The designer series paper, so sweet, you've got a little shine on there. This one measures three and five eighths by two and a quarter. Then you need some um, pieces from, let me show you here. This is the um, Whimsy and Wonder designer series paper. So it's this one here, we're cutting out some of these presents, just cussy, uh, sorry, fussy cutting. Um, so you need some of this designer series paper. And uh, let's see what else we've used here. Uh, this, um, these are called seasonal swirls dies these ones down here and i've used this one and then um there's some little holly leaves there as well and the swirl i've cut out using the silver foil here so you get three different shades of silver i'm using this light one here um for this swirl so pretty, so shiny. Okay, let's get started. I'll show you how to score the base. I'll bring in my Simply Schooled tool. Okay, so on the long side, you want to um, score at two and three quarters and at five and a half. That's all the scoring you need to do on this one. You could go ahead and cut, if you wanted to do several of these cards, you could go ahead, cut all the layers um, and just store them flat until you're ready to put them together. Okay, so we're going to fold this in half. Uh, where's the bone folder? Fold it in half. And then this one here where the other score line is, we're going to fold back on ourselves. Okay, so that creates the Z fold. Kind of a top heavy Z. I can't see which way around it goes. Anyway, you get the gist. So fold in half, then fold back on yourself. Okay, so we're going to start popping some layers on now. So the biggest um, mint macaron layer you're going to stick on the inside here. Just going to get a bit. I haven't used my glue for a while, and it's a bit stuck at the end. So I'm just going to get some of that off. Here we go. So. Just some liquid glue on the back. And pop that there. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to get the biggest uh, basic white layer and pop that on the top. So actually before we pop that on, I'm going to stamp we stamp before you stick because if it, <laughs> if it doesn't quite come out right, then um, you can do another one. So I'm using here the Best Year stamp set. Sorry, I don't know if the light's on that a bit. Um, I love this stamp set because lots of different ones in. I use this Happy Birthday one a lot, but this is uh, Warm Wishes for a Happy Christmas. I just think that's a really nice sentiment. So Mint Macaron Ink. Let's just see, I've got it inked up enough. And then what you want to aim to do, obviously, is get it behind this layer. So if you just go centrally you shouldn't be far wrong i'm going to turn that over because i just moved it as i put it down so here we go 
There we are. Okay, so put that to one side. That's a great thing, you've always got a, a B side. This is one of my in person class projects and also uh, my class by post. So, um, thankfully, we're able to teach again in person in the UK. Um, and uh, but some people a bit far away to come to classes or still preferring to do them at home. So, um, so it, it's nice that I can still do both. Okay, so on this layer here, so this is the one that's going to sit at the front, you need to put your two and a half by three and seven eighths mint macaron layer on there. I love that we've got some different colours for Christmas. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think it's been really popular. And actually next month, I'm going to be doing a special class um, using this sweet. Okay, so we're going to put the holly leaves. Um, they're going to be layered on there as well. with that border all the way around. So pretty. Okay. So like I said, I've gone ahead and embossed this layer. Um, I love these. I keep saying I love everything, but I generally do. Um, these are the uh, wintry 3D embossing folders. So you get two. There's a snowflake one and there's kind of the fern. Um, I'm using the snowflake one, which is the one I've been using <laughs> like all the time on all the projects. So just gonna pop some glue on the back here. Okay, in the middle. So you can see then once this is stuck on, that's going to cover up that sentiment underneath. Okay, and when we go to stick this on, I've put this on with dimensionals. You just want them under this side. Um, because obviously we need it to open on this side. Okay, so let's go ahead and a bit of fussy cut. I've actually gone ahead and already fussy cut a couple of the um, presents here. So, you know, really easy because most of them are square. You might get a little bit of a, a bow to contend with, but just snip round. Also, if this is in your kit or whether you're coming to my in-person class, we haven't all got the same coloured presents on the same, um, you know, because the papers vary. So um, I've given you a nice mix of colours. Um, so whichever set you get, they'll be pretty anyway. Um, on this one, I cut off the edge of the holly leaf here because it was too, too fiddly, but this bow is actually not too bad to cut around. So... Um, just, you know, make a judgment call on whether <laughs> whether you can be bothered to cut around something or not. But, oops, there we go. Just going to get that little bit out there. I'm not going to worry about that tiny bit in the middle. And then, should we stick this on first, actually? I think we'll do that. So, like I say, just dimensionals on that side. I would say not too far over, but you want to balance it up, so I might pop one in the middle as well here. There we go. Now, some people might think it's a bit early for Christmas, but tomorrow is the 1st of October, and I think it just whizzes by now. Uh, now the children are back to school, so, um, you know, it's great to get a few, a few in place ready. I stuck it so I've got this big um, snowflake on this side because I quite liked having my swirl kind of going over that. But, you know, have it however you want. Make sure all these pieces from the swirl have been poked out. A couple more up here. I just love these swirls and I've used um, 
one of the other ones in the dies um on my um christmas card special that's coming up but um how pretty is that so gorgeous especially in the foil okay so when i've um stuck this down now maybe i should have done that before but i've actually uh attached it and i think i did this when i was making it underneath here with a little bit of um silver twine don't worry if you've already attached it i did it as i was um designing this and still haven't remembered this time so it's fine Ooh, sorry my scissors are making oh such a noise there okay you don't need much of this twine about an inch and a half a little tip here if you cut at the top of your bobbin here when you wind it back up you can just hook that in there and it won't just keep springing out all the time there we go so it might have been easier to do this before but let's just um let's just do it now so what basically what we're going to do is stick that behind and have this coming down we can just trim this off so would have been much easier before <laughs> sorry if you've stuck this down i'll try and put a little note on the video to say ah, before you do this have a quick um fast forward so i'm just going to tuck behind here a glue dot just underneath onto the cardstock here and then attach this piece of simply elegant twine there we go that's fine see no problem <laughs> and then what's going to happen you're going to find um there's a little one of the little stars it's kind of a little bit misshapen this one up here that's the one we're going to stick over and then i've i've trimmed it enough so this won't show um underneath so i'm gonna i'm gonna cut some of that first a little bit fiddly here actually what i'm gonna do I'm gonna pop it down i'm gonna roll up a glue dot under this one and just have a look see where it's going to go with that little one gone here and i quite like this because it goes slightly over the edge as well so looking about here here, I'm going to put the glue dot oops, underneath so that when you come to stick that on, you can stick it over the top exactly where that was. I might shimmy mine up a little bit here because it's a bit long. Have a little practice before you stick it all down anyway. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to pop another glue dot, just roll one up. You just kind of keep folding it onto itself. Um, onto the back of this little star here. And then stick it on there. If you want it a bit shorter, obviously, um, you know, you can, you can change the length. If you want it to stick down, put a little glue dot under a couple of stars here as well. Um, let's fix it in place a little bit and do that. So just roll them up. I'm going to put one under this one here and that will just hold that in place okay so then you can arrange where you'd like your presents to go let's put that there no that's that way have a look at the bows and the holly see which way it's meant to go it's not um, essential that um you know you get it perfectly right and then just layer them up um, with this one, actually, I cut it down a little bit here because I wanted a different size present. So I'm going to have a look and see how they look first before I stick them down. This one I raised up on a dimensional. Uh, yeah, I'm going to trim this one down a little bit. Just so it looks like a smaller present. There we go. Okay, so this big one I'm going to put on first. Like I said, just layer them however you think looks good um so tall one in the middle and it really doesn't matter if they slide around um just have a little play around to see how you like the look of it i might put the smaller one on this side actually so i see the bows and things okay so another little bit of glue on here him down there and then this one I'm just going to put a dimension on the back make sure you don't go too far over um which way up does this go that way and he's going to stand like that 
Okay, so I've just offset those a bit on there. Um, and then also in the dies, the seasonal swells dies, um, are these little holly leaves. Um, and you can cut two at once, so it's just great for this project. So I'm going to grab mine here. Um, I've cut these in, again, in mint macaron. So have a play around, see which way up you want them to go. That's fine for me. And then just seeing how I attach them here, just glue dots, but again, rolled up. Um, so fold them over. You could just stick them on with liquid glue. Um, but I think because this is slightly raised and, and a bit shiny, I feel a little bit safer um, doing it with glue dots. So just on the bottom there. And I just covered up this um, this star here, but you could go wherever you want to here. And then one on the back of this one, which ends the top. Uh, you have it on this, this is the bottom, I think. And out that way. And then to finish this off, I haven't used these in such a long time. Uh, stamping up pearls um, and I've coloured them with um, the, the colour in the um, the designer series paper is actually Blushing Bride but we don't have blends in that colour so I've done them in light flirty flamingo so I've gone ahead and um, pre-coloured these so I'm just going to uh, put one I did have three originally I don't know where one of them's ended up so I'm going to put three on here so cute and then finally um some rhinestones just because i can't resist and it ties in with the silver so um just the small ones i've used on here so one i think i put it in the middle of a snowflake there but i don't have one so i'm just going to randomly pop it on there and then a couple dotted up here and there we have it this is my Whimsy and Wonder Z Fold Christmas card. I hope you enjoy making it. Take care. See you soon. Bye.